Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in this video today we're going to demonstrate some hover effects. We've been demoing a plugin called Divi Image Hover Effects and it's a fantastic plugin. They've just reduced the price from $50 to $15 uh, and it represents great value and they've got some fantastic effects. I think there's 250 of them. But today we're gonna to build ours from scratch. I mean, don't get me wrong, these are awesome. But with a little bit of work, you can create some of these hover effects yourself with the Divi theme. So let's go ahead and what we're gonna to create today, we're gonna to create an image that when you hover over it, it turns into a video with a call to action button. And this is very easy to do. So let's get started. I've got a new page open here. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on a new page because you don't wanna to put too many videos on one page. It'll, it'll put strain on your server. So let's add a new row. I'm gonna add two columns. And in the first one, I'm gonna insert a call to action module. Now Divi comes as, with all these light gray modules as standard, plenty enough to build just about any site and you get another dozen or so as well. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it'll help you to sell your products. Now, the only one it doesn't come in with is the Divi Image Hover, which is that plugin that I showed you just now. I bought it and I'm very, very happy with it. So let's add a call to action. So we've got a little button. And as you can see, there's our call to action. Let's move this out of the way. Put your title here if you want a title whatever it is you want your button to say if you want to put in a subtitle or a bit of text you can do so in the content down here now the link if you want to you can make the whole module link to something and you can have the button link to something completely different for me today i've really got no linking in mind but i'd probably link this to a booking form or a contact form i'm just going to put a hashtag in the button link url and you might notice there's no button there at the moment as soon as i put a, a link in the button will appear okay so we're getting there now the next thing i want to do is get rid of that background and put a video background in so let's slide on down a bit further to background. And as common with all Divi modules, you've got color, gradient, image, or video. Let's just get rid of this color. I'm gonna add a video. Now I've downloaded an MP4 for the, from the great free site, cover, C-O-V-E-R-R dot co. They've got a lot of short videos there, great for embedding on your site and the image I've used will be using today I've got from pexels.com again another great free photo site and you can also get videos from here okay so let's add the video there's the beach one I downloaded from cover great as you can see let's put that video back there for us already Okay, it's a little bit long and skinny, so I want to add a bit of padding top and bottom to our module to get it more of a sort of aspect ratio that I want. So let's go over to design, and to do that we'll just add a bit of padding. So we'll go down to spacing. And I'm going to add about 60 top and bottom, I think that's what I used on the last one. Just put in the 60, it'll put in the picks for you, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite end. That's a bit more like it. I mean, we could probably go up a bit more if you wanted to. Whatever works for you, obviously. All right, so we've got our video and we've got our call to action module. Now, what do we want it to do? Well, when we're not hovering over it, I don't want to see the video and I don't want to see the button or the title. What I do want to see is an image of a beach. Now, to make this work, what we've got to do, let's just save this, is put that image in our column that the module's sitting in and then make our module transparent so we can see the image. So let's go ahead and do that. 
I'm going to go into the row, the green tab, blue for a section, green for a row, dark for a module. And our first column here, here's our first column. I'm going to put a background image in. So I'll go to background, move it to image, add background image. Here's my little beach picture. Now, of course, you can't see it because our module and video are on the top of it. So let's save our column and save our row, go back into the module. Now what we need to do is create a hover state. So we want this to be invisible at first so we can see our beach picture. Then when we hover over it, we want it to come back so they can see the video and click the button. To do that today, if you watch my other Zoom videos, you know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go over to design. I'm going to go down to filters. I'm going to go down to opacity. Opacity is transparency or see throughness, if you like. And I want it, when we're not hovering over it, to be invisible. So I take the opacity all the way down to the zero. That's invisible, basically. Great. So we can now see our nice beach image. Then when they put their mouse over it, we want our little video and call to action button to pop up. Common with all Divi modules, if you hover over the dark legending here, you're going to see some little icons appear to the right. Go over, hit the little arrow one if there's an arrow one there. Most of them, most times it will appear. And that will give you the option to set a desktop state. Basically, desktop state is when your mouse is not on it. And a hover state, obviously, is when your mouse is on it. So when we're hovering on it, I've got that highlighted at the moment, I want it to be fully visible. So I'll take this up all the way. And when we're not hovering over it, desktop state, I want it to be completely invisible. Great, so that seems to be working fine. Now with Divi, the default transition time for it to fade in, or basically now it's gonna go from image to video, is gonna be 300 milliseconds. That's pretty quick. I'm going to slow mine down for a bit of drama. Obviously, you set yours however you want. To do that, go to the Advanced tab, down to Transitions, down to Transition Duration. That's how long the effect's going to take. I'm going to bang mine up to about just over a second or around that. You can fine tune here. You can type in your value if you prefer. Don't want any delay. I want it to happen straight away that somebody puts their mouse on it. And the speed curve I like to use for this is ease in and ease out. Top one there. Now play with these, they're slightly different, subtly different, and will work these some of these will work better in some situations than others. But for my hover effects, I tend to use the ease in and ease out. Alright, so if we've done everything correctly, we should be good to go. So let's save our module, save our page change. and exit the Visual Builder. Let's go down. There's our nice little beach image. When we scroll over, there we go. It pops in with our video and our call to action. People can book their vacation or go where it is you want to send them with your link here. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. If somebody's noodling around your site, their mouse goes over the top of this image that's going to get their attention pretty quickly. And it, like I say, it's a great little feature to have on your site too. Be aware though, that when you're working with videos, if you're loading them directly from your site like this, you don't want to have too many of them on the page because it will slow, it puts certain pressure on your server and it will slow down. But one or two here and there is absolutely fine. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, Please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.